I suppose a Porsche is the last thing you'd expect to see in the middle of the Aussie outback. Tough four-wheel drives and monster cattle trucks, yeah. But a German supercar? No way! So there it is, and here I am. What is a bloke to do, eh? This is no ordinary Porsche. How about these wheel arches? And check out these monster tyres. Up front, this 911 has a deeper front spoiler hanging mere inches off the road. And, yes, I thought so, this is a turbo. It says so right here. So, underneath this innocuous little panel sits a flat six-cylinder engine with two big turbines hanging off it. What that means is that this baby's got 40% more power than your average 911. Which means there's only one thing to do. It's time to get intimate with the Porsche 911 Turbo. It looks just like every other Porsche 911 from here. Very disappointing if you've just shelled out $327,000. I mean, sure, you get turbo on the gauge over here and the speedo does go to 350, but the rest of it to me is disappointingly functional. I suppose I could look at that another way and say that Porsche spent that extra $100,000 boosting the car's performance. But is that really the case? It's time to find out. I'll tell you what, this car has got a ridiculous amount of power. I could really get addicted to this. Just so glad we're in the territory and I don't have to worry about my license. Against the clock, Porsche reckons this car can do 0 to 100 in 3.7 seconds. Forget Commodore comparisons, that is just out of this world. How does 0 to 200 in 12.2 seconds grab you? And how is this for an even more impressive statistic? Porsche's million dollar Carrera GT, V10 engine, carbon fibre bodywork, slower than this car to 100 kilometers an hour. This car's all-wheel drive, and when you're trying to get 400 and who knows what horsepower off the line, you need all the help you can get. But the real beauty of this car is its overtaking performance. You look, you push, you shoot. And you never get sick of doing it. Now one thing you quickly discover up at the top end is that there's not a lot of corners up here, so you don't get to learn much about the front end of this car or the way it steers. But I've been told by the Porsche guys that this 911 Turbo is the quickest car around the Nürburgring that they've ever built. It's 11 seconds faster than the previous Turbo model. It's 18 seconds quicker than a standard 911. All right, let's slow the pace down a little bit because while it's really exhilarating to travel at this kind of pace, it's also quite sobering. Because this is Australia, right? Big open country. There's no fences on the side of the road. There's a lot of wildlife out there, and if a brumby or a buffalo or even a kangaroo jumps into our path when we're sitting on 200, I mean, this car's good, but it's not good enough to get us around that. This car is designed for European autobahns. We're talking flat out, line of sights, 200 kilometres, 300 kilometres an hour, big guardrails, and you just don't have that in Australia. There is no denying this Porsche 911 is a phenomenal machine. It is the right car, just in the wrong country. So people who are going to buy this car should probably get a racetrack too. And I suppose if they can afford this car, then they probably can afford a racetrack. Still, I'm here, the 911 Turbo's here, at least for today, and there's the horizon. Let's see if we can catch it. 